Hi, it's Dwyer, gamblersadvisory.com, a free site, digitalassetlife.blogspot.com, a free site. It is Monday, September the 6th, 2021. Let's talk crypto, but first, let's be clear. Nothing I say in this video should be construed as investment advice. Please consult with your own personal advisor before making any investment decisions. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Now let me just warn my friends here. I know many of you are like me. You got into crypto because crypto was state free money. Right? It was a monetary system that disintermediated got rid of central bank issued currency right you weren't relying on the whims of politicians you were relying on the free market and new technology now understand I still believe in the decentralized space right for me the best cryptocurrency to have is decentralized it is proof of work. It is Bitcoin. Right? I think Bitcoin is the best, in part because Bitcoin has no address, is not owned by a sovereign nation, right? Isn't issued by a central bank. It's its own entity. And the price level is solely the result of the free market and its limited supply. Scarcity is a big part of Bitcoin. Now I'll agree, if you're in crypto for philosophical reasons and you're only interested in decentralized cryptocurrency, then this is not the video for you. Right? My primary focus in this video is to talk about another way of making money. Understand, cryptocurrency has moved away from decentralization toward a proof-of-stake system that has validators. In other words, far more centralization than Bitcoin. Right? There are much more centralized points of possible failure in the newer cryptocurrencies. The reason why consumers have flocked to coins like Solana, for example, is because of the high level of performance. With more centralization comes a higher, a higher throughput, comes a quicker transaction time, right? Understand, however, that coins like Solana, like Cardano, are really catering to private markets, right? What they're telling you is, hey, your experience with this coin in terms of doing transactions or in terms of utilizing smart contract capability to use the blockchain for other software objectives, right? People can lay smart contract technology, ERC-20 tokens um, on the platform and can do other things on the platform other than what is presented by a Polkadot or a Solana or a Cardano all of them proof of stake, all of them using validators. And folks can then do what they want to do using the more specialized coin. Right? I'm sure some of you have heard about base layer, uh, layer two, and things like that. 
you also have very high performance. But again, more centralization with the Binance smart chain. Right, and so that's where crypto is trending. If you're someone interested in decentralization and proof of work, then you want to look at Bitcoin, you want to look at Dash, you want to limit yourself to that area. Bitcoin's response to what's happening in terms of the demand for quicker transaction speeds, higher throughputs, is the Lightning Network. Right, so things are moving fast. In this video, let's open the door to another category of coins. Right, namely one coin that's perfectly positioned for a trend that I believe is about to happen that's going to be huge. If you, like me, believe in decentralization but also believe in profiting off of the trends that emerge, well, just to understand, the coin I'm about to discuss, which I believe is a must-own coin, right? And we call it a coin, it's really a technology. It's perfectly tailored for use by central banks, right? Legacy finance banks, trading consortia, Right? The centralized world. Worse yet, folks, the sovereign nation centralized world to use when they start issuing digital currencies. And that coin is called Quant. Q-U-A-N-T. Again, the coin is Quant. Now, it hasn't been as widely reported as it should be, but Quant has been on fire the last two months. Absolutely on fire. It's one of the best performing cryptocurrencies in the entire metaverse. But I believe we're just in the top of the first inning with the coin because the breakthrough technology that this coin brings to the table, right? And the coin holds a patent. It's something called the multi-ledger token. What Quant enables people to do using its over-ledger, distributed ledger technology, gateway, right? We'll call distributed ledger technology, DLT, as an abbreviation for, per for the purpose of this video, is it allows connectivity across platforms. And those platforms include not just cryptocurrencies, but fiat currencies. Right, this is a little bit different than XRP, which also would do well in a central bank digital currency world, right? But this is a little bit different. Let me just read what the coin does, the best summary I found on Quant's own page. And I would encourage you to Google Quant cryptocurrency, go to their website. Here's how the multi-ledger token works. Funds are held in escrow with a financial institution. And tokens to the same value are issued or minted, as they say in the trade, on a private DLT. These funds can then be used on any DLT or mixture of DLTs, public or private. And Quant patented multi-ledger token technology is applied. This ensures that whenever the tokens are used, 
changes of ownership are recorded on the original DLT, and a clear, auditable record is maintained. The nature of Quant's multi-ledger token technology means that the tokens are open and can be used on new and different DLTs as they emerge or as use cases grow. This opens up the walled gardens of many e-money solutions. Let me just say that this technology is tailor-made for central bank digital currencies. It implements the IMF's semi-decentralized model. Right? It also allows for a more flexible type of stablecoin than is currently on the market. Now, Quant already is in the top 70 of all coins in the metaverse. You can imagine what will happen, <clears throat> excuse me, you can imagine what will happen if the Bank of England or the Federal Reserve in the United States or some other major central bank announces that they're going to use Quant in their issuance of central bank digital currency. Folks, whatever the price of Quant is today, and it's been on fire, I hope you look up the price history of this coin. This coin has the potential to skyrocket. Right? 5x, 10x, perhaps significantly much higher. I believe here you want to get in, you want to get a position. If the world, with or without you, is going to move toward central bank digital currencies. You might as well try to profit on it. Keep in mind, you can always invest the profits back into the decentralized Bitcoin world. Let's also point out the obvious. XRP, which is also a coin with great potential for use by central banks is dealing with an SEC lawsuit right now in the United States. Let's just say that the regulatory waters for XRP are a little bit murkier than they are for Quant. Right? Quant is not being investigated by the SEC. You have less of a regulatory risk with Quant which is singular and is perfectly positioned for use by central banks in their issuance of digital currencies. Right? Interopi interoperability is going to be a very big thing going forward because you can imagine eventually there's going to be centralist, excuse me, consolidation in the metaverse. Some coins are not going to make it. They're going to be mergers and acquisitions, just like there is in the legacy finance world. I believe this coin, in part because of the patent it holds, because of its early position in the multi-ledger token space. In other words, this, in a world where stable coins are getting a bigger foothold. This coin arguably is the creme de la creme, as it's more flexible than other stable coins. I believe this coin is positioned for huge growth. The name of the coin is Quant, Q-U-A-N-T. I believe the symbol is Q-N-T. I believe you should give it a look. 
The coin is also available on coinx.com. Right? Understand, this coin, which again is already in the top 70 of all market caps for cryptocurrencies, this coin is so nascent that it's not on many of the better known exchanges. So you're going to have to go look for this coin, right? I believe it's on coinx.com. It's on a few other exchanges. You're going to have to do your research. But that's how much of a jump you're getting on other crypto investors. The coin is not as widely distributed as most of the well-known coins with this coin's market cap. That's how I see it. Let me hear from you. I hope you leave your comments in the comment section of this video. Thanks for stopping by.